The super body created to manage what is now considered as unmanageable traffic in the metro, the IAC Group announced that one of the best measures they would adapt for them to achieve their mandate is to clear some of the so-called Mabuhay routes of obstructions, a perennial problem in these designated streets. To find out more about this move, we have invited to Motoring Today's Motoring Forum the Chief Public Information Officer of the PNP HPG, Police Superintendent Elizabeth Velasquez. Good afternoon, Police Superintendent Velasquez, and welcome once again to Motoring Today. Well, good afternoon, Boots, and to all the viewers of Motoring Today. Now, reports have it that as an added measure to ease traffic flow in the metro, especially with the long holiday season nearing, special focus will be on four routes of the so-called Mabuhay Lanes. For the benefit of our viewers, especially the motorists, can you name these routes? Well, uh, Boots, uh, we, uh, right now we have 17 uh, Mabuhay Lanes and we have prioritized at least four for our motorists uh, who would not like to traverse EDSA. And the first route is Route 1 uh, for private vehicles from north to south. No? All they have to do is to turn right at uh, West Avenue and right at Quezon Avenue and they have to exit in Mandaluyong uh, to reach their uh, destination like in Mandaluyong uh, uh, Makati Bridge. Uh, the concerned cities are the Quezon City, San Juan City, Mandaluyong City and Makati City. Well, another route is uh, from, uh, again from uh, EDSA, Ipapanyo de los Santos Avenue. You have to turn right at West Avenue, right at Del Monte Avenue, and uh, right at Maria Clara or Dapitan uh, to reach your destination. So the concerned cities would be Quezon City and uh, Manila City, meaning you will pass by the cities to reach your destinations for the Route 2. While for the Route 3, uh, this is uh, again from north to south. Uh, you will exit at Mindanao Avenue, uh, access ramp right at Mindanao Avenue, left at Congressional, right at Luzon Avenue, and you have to take the bridge crossing Commonwealth Avenue, Katipunan Avenue, C5, and to your destination. So the, the only concerned city is the Quezon City. Another one is from Route 7, from south to north. So from Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, you have to take Australia and the uh, Pantaleon Bridge, and then to straight straight uh, to uh, Gomezville, straight to Hoover, and then you have to uh, right left at Congressional Avenue and right at Mindanao Avenue to your destination. So you have to pass. Uh, Cities like Makati City, Mandaluyong City, and uh, Quezon City. Now, among those routes mentioned, what streets are considered a top priority or those with the most obstructions? And what kind of obstructions are most common? Parked cars, vendors? Well, the most common obstructions uh, that we have noted are the illegal parked vehicles, the illegally parked vehicles, and of course, uh, as what you say, the sidewalk vendors. But uh, for two months, for two months, uh, for the last two months, we have been uh, having a massive and uh, intensified clearing operations in order for the sidewalk vendors and illegally parked vehicle to be out of that. Uh, some of this uh, illegally parked can be found at uh, uh, along Mabuhay lanes, no, and other arterial roads that affects the the Epipenio de los Santos or the EDSA. As of now, we were able to clear these uh, lanes so far, at least 80% has been cleared of uh, these uh, roads. So we are just aiming to have it cleared 100%. Tell us, what is the established protocol or SOP in dealing or removing these obstructions and who is in charge of its implementation? Well, Boots, we are coordinating with the proper authorities like the barangay officials as well as with the local government units and with the local PNP units. So, uh, before we had our clearing operations, we have to inform them that we will be having such operation uh, so much so that they are also cooperating with us. They are uh, 
uh, also uh, a contributing factor to the cleaning operation. So the protocol is we have to coordinate with the concerned uh, uh, barangays and uh, concerned officials uh, in uh, the respective places where we will have our cleaning operations. What are the penalties or sanctions for those responsible for the obstructions? Well, uh, we have different penalties being implemented. We have this joint administrative order being implemented by the uh, Land Transportation Office. We have also, uh, this is a national law no, based on Republic Act 4136. And we have also uh, the, the we have also the ordinances from the local government units. So th this, this, these laws are different from each other. That's why we are, ha we are uh, envisioning for a unified ticketing system in the future for, uh, for us to have a single ticketing system that all penalties will be in uniformity. Now, are these Mabuhay lanes supposed to be cleared of obstructions for 24 hours or is there a window or time when they are allowed? No, we have no window work time. We are having our clearing operations even on night and day, within the day. Uh, sometimes it is not being uh, it is not being announced so that we will re really ma mahuli natin talaga, no? makikita natin talaga kung sino yung dapat na uh, i-clear natin but uh, we do it from very religious almost every day we had our clearing operations okay now this is important for motorists to help the authorities in the clearing of these mabuhay lanes of obstructions where can they conveniently report where immediate action or response can very well be expected a number perhaps Okay, so they can call at uh, MMDA hotline 136. They can also call our Metro Base, Highway Metro Base at 0915-389-6502. And uh, for, our, for the HPG, they can call 0906-374-5375. Will this measure be implemented only this time and during the holidays or will this be on a continuing basis? Well, as of now, uh, we, ha uh, we are, uh, we with the IAC, the Interagency Council for Traffic, uh, according, accordingly, uh, this will all last uh, up to January 31. But uh, if we think that we, this is an effective uh, scheme, maybe we can also extend it uh, for more months or years perhaps. Thank you so much for your time, Police Superintendent Velasquez. Before we end, do you have any message? Yes, uh, thank you, Boots. And I would like to appeal to our motorists, to our road users, to please uh, cooperate with us, with the IAC. Uh, the, uh, the IAC uh, has been uh, uh, the brain of our Secretary, Arthur Togade. This is uh, integrating the four agencies like the MMDA, LTO, LTFRB and of course the HPG uh, this uh, envisions to harmonize the laws and to have a unified traffic management system uh, for the betterment of our of the traffic situation now we are experiencing in Metro Manila let us work together for a common purpose of decongesting uh, our metropolis the Metro Manila uh, not only the EDSA and C5 but all uh, roads and major thoroughfares within the metropolis. Thank you, Boots. Thank you once again, ma'am. So again, thank you, Boots, and happy motoring. Police Superintendent Elizabeth Velasquez, Public Information Officer Head of the PNPHPG, our guest this week on Motoring Today's Motoring Forum.